Here's the story of five guys who are way past their primes that get together to pursue their dreams of making it big in the music world. Although they aren't really talented as a band, or as individuals for that matter, they still have a burning ambition of being the rock stars they are called to be. Or at least that's what their egos tell them. Join us on their story of One Last Chance to Rock. So what am I doing? I am realizing that I've been carrying around this snare drum head, batter head it's called, in case this one would break. Because if that would break, the, the, the show would be tragic. However, the problem is, if you watched, and I just realized, it's not the right size. So now I have to go back and buy another drum head for the backup head because this just became a really nice frisbee. Whee! Rob, he can't have a single thought for himself or an original thought, so I'm kind of his mentor. And, uh, you know, he went to school, Penn State and WVU for, you know, music, and I, I just don't know where all that knowledge went to. Well, I've been playing music since I was five years old, so I, uh, it's in my nature to be in a band. And uh, Kevin came up to me one day and said, hey, I need a drummer. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll jump in and I'll play. And then he said, well, no, I got a drummer. I need a keyboardist now. I said, well, okay, I I'll play. Then he said, well, I already found a keyboardist, so now I need a bass player. I said, I don't know how to play the bass. He said, can you learn? I said, well, okay. So then we ended up, now I'm all the way back again to, to my original instrument, which are the drums. When we first started the band, you know, I heard him play drums, and, and he couldn't keep time for anything. I mean, he was a broken Timex man. I mean, it was, he was all over the place. So to be nice, I brought in uh, another player and uh, who was highly skilled, very talented. And I didn't want to let him go because, you know, I didn't want to crush his hopes. You know, this was an amazing band that we were putting together at the time. And so um, I said, hey, Rob, I said, would you mind playing keyboard? Because I, I knew that Rob was somewhat decent on keys. So... After the next practice, you know, he was, you know, banging on the keys and my buddy looked at me and I looked at my buddy and I'm like, okay. So the next day I say, hey, Rob, we think about the bass. I said, you think you could do that? And he goes, uh, he goes, you know what? He goes, let me try. But Rob had a different plan for a bass player. Yeah. Well, you see, I know this guy, Rob, and one day he showed up at my house and he just said, hey, you have to play bass or your kid fails. Here's the bass, learn these 60 songs, you have three months, do it or your kid fails. And that uh, was a year and a half ago. It was Easter of 2018. And uh, I've been in the band since. Of course, no band would be complete without some guitar. I was just looking around the news and I saw a local band of, you know, they were playing and I said, oh, looks pretty neat. It's like a couple of the guys have the same profession as me and I said, that's kind of unique. So I just kind of stalked them a little bit and said, hey, can I jam with you guys? I'm not really looking to join the band, but I played and they said the gig's on Saturday. Well, I guess I was in the band. <laughs> bit of a history with the uh, swan and uh, he said hey man we're, we're flocking south can you make it for a show and I was like well where's the set list and he goes don't worry about it just show up and I was like all right and the next thing you know we were on the back of a truck going through the city playing songs and it was freaking freezing but it was awesome and that was my pretty much my first experience with the band and just like any other band, the guys do get annoyed. Main left? I don't know. Jeez. Oh, so, uh, yeah, I was asked to be in charge of mixing our sound, live sound. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I was never trained. Um, but, yeah, so that's, that's my duty in the band. I hate country music, and these guys want to play country music all the time. If they could, they'd be corn-fed, straw-eating, cowboy hat-wearing, cowboy boots, yee-hawing fools. I noticed uh, Kevin has this persona that comes out when we're playing, and he has zero 
zero personal space boundaries. But you know, it's it's just him. There's nothing ill intended. But sometimes it, it's kind of it'll it'll freak you out if you're sitting there with your eyes closed and you open up and he's staring at you. It's also a little annoying that the guys constantly make fun of me because we are still uh, playing and practicing in my parents' basement. Hey guys, how many times do I have to tell you? When you are carrying those instruments, you have to keep them away from my wall because I have tried everything to get the black marks off my wall. The only thing left is you're going to have to have a painting day and paint my walls. So, you know, the fact that, we're, that I'm 47 years old and I'm still practicing in my parents' basement might be a little bit annoying, but we can't afford a studio, so what can I say? Uh, sometimes, like, when you get new band members joining the group, like, <clears throat> I'm going to drop a name, Sean Van Emmen. He tries to make things his own, where he needs to understand that we brought him on board. He didn't bring us on board. He needs us. We don't need him. I'm pretty much the talent of the band. Um, you know, these guys, a lot of times we're playing and, you know, we're playing in all different wrong keys and, you know, I'm the only one really playing this song, how it's supposed to be played. So, yeah, I'd like to say, um, typically, I'm the one kind of carrying the burden on my back, but, yeah. As the guys get older, they try different methods to keep their bodies fresh for the gigs. Uh, Adam has a tendency to bring his holistic approach to uh, musical science and acoustics. Uh, he even talked about uh, cupping, which I'm not real sure what, what that all is yet, but we're definitely uh, considering to do a, a band cupping uh, experience. I, I heard at least bad bruises. So I brought up an idea to help the guys because they were complaining about being old. And the next thing I know, it's all we talk about is getting cupped. I gotta say, I don't think they understand exactly what it is. They seem a little too excited about it. Um, as a band, we're gonna do a team cupping uh, ceremony, I guess, at Adam's uh, wife's uh, shop. Um, I don't know how legitimate it is, but I am looking forward to it. It's a medical facility. I have a prescription. At the end of each day, the guys are all about having a good time. I love playing live music. I love, I love, the, I love all the guys. Even, even the, the country music drives me crazy. I like the fact that all the guys are pretty down to earth, wholesome married guys. and I love hanging out with good people, doing fun stuff. And that's what we're doing right now. I think Rob said it one time the best that we are a family. And when we started this band together, it was supposed to be fun and it's something that we want to enjoy doing. When it becomes not fun, that's when it's gonna be over because that's what it's all about. It's about friendship, fellowship, and just having a good time. Hey, this is the 412 District. Thanks for watching tonight, and uh, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe because there'll be a lot more coming in the future. Thanks, guys. Thanks. My man can play.